Hey everyone! I am back to do a follow-up review on my new Belle Tress Spanish Roast in the color Mocha with Cream. Belle Tress came out with this wig just this spring and so she is brand spanking new and I am very excited to be able to show her to you guys. So I did film a video a week ago when I first got her just an out of the box and I will link that video below so you can see what she looked like brand new out of the box. Since then I have done a few things to her to try to make her my own and I haven't worn her a lot. I've worn her for a few hours here and there just to, you know, check her out and, and so I could give some good impressions. So the first thing I'll tell you that I did was I had gotten her wet. So I stuck her in a sink of cold water. I submersed her. I got her wet. I shook her out really well. I hung her upside down and I scrunched her up. And so after I did that, I put her on and I, in my first video, I shared with you that there were some pieces on this side that were not behaving. They were, it's almost like they missed the curling or something that had happened with the rest of the fibers and they were a little longer. And so I did take a curling iron and attempted to curl them a little bit. I didn't have a lot of success with that. I think partly because I didn't know what I was doing. And, and since then I've learned that with these HD fibers, you curl them, but then you have to take them off the curling iron and hold that curl until it cools. And I didn't really do that. But what I did end up doing is I ended up trimming them. So I took these thinning shears and I will recommend everybody have a pair of thinning shears if you own wigs. And I just took the pieces that were just not behaving and too long and I took the thinning shears and I took just little pieces and I kind of sliced at them unevenly because I didn't want there to be any type of a blunt cut or obvious that I had trimmed something. And I am not experienced enough. Now I've got it all wonky over there. I'm not experienced enough with styling hair to really trust myself too much with that. I don't, um, I don't know how to cut hair. I don't know how to cut bangs. I can't, can barely curl hair. I just... So that's why synthetic wigs are so good for me. Shake and go, put them on my head, I'm done. And that's more my speed. But I did trim them and it turned out great. And it really solved that problem, in my opinion. And I haven't had an issue with it since, so problem solved. So let me just show you her from all sides real quick. Go to this side. And then the back. So I am really, really, really liking this one. So in the first video, I did say that I thought this was wedding hair, fancy hair, fancy event hair. If you have spring weddings to attend, I absolutely 100% believe this is perfect for those. If you're um, used to hair this length, or if you just like to change it up, this is a unique curl pattern that I haven't really seen. It looks like you took hot rollers and kind of put hot rollers in your hair. I mean, it really does. Oh, now I have a fiber poking me in the eye. That's what you get when you don't um, edit videos. You're gonna get to see all the glory of this. Um, and it's just so cool. So if you're comfortable with accessories, then you can really style this baby. I mean, you can, you know, get some fancy clips or blingy kind of bobby pins and, you can, you know, take some strands and put them up. I mean, I really think you could do a lot of fun stuff with this. Uh, if she does have a lace front, unfortunately the lace front isn't great. So it's very, very naughty. And I did say that in my first video. And keep in mind that this mocha with cream color is very dark root. It's a two, that's extremely dark. So that is a factor, but you know, that's not, I don't know if any of the other colors would be better. I mean, certainly if you're gonna go with a blonde and not a dark root, you're gonna have a better luck. Because quite frankly, I think it's unfortunate she doesn't have a great root because she would be really cute in some different styles where you sweep it off your face. I just don't know if you'd be able to do that. I have a pretty high tolerance for dark knots and I wouldn't be able to do that with her. So, but you know, to each their own. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you the cap because I really want you to have a good sense of this. Now keep in mind, these are heat defiant fibers, HD fibers, but you're looking at someone who has avoided HD fibers like the plague 
since I started wearing wigs. I just absolutely have been like on a crusade to talk about how I will never purchase HD. And then I got a wild hair to try Lady Latte, which is right here. And I do have a video series going about her to really talk about those fibers and how they wear over time. And I love the fibers. They're so soft. I have never felt hair like this in a synthetic wig ever. And I just love it. These fibers are great as well. So now I'm really rethinking this. So as I do this experiment with Lady Latte to really test the fibers out, um, when I think about this wig, for me, this is never going to be an everyday wig. This is going to be fancy hair. It's going to be, you know, party hair, date night hair. And so I can't see that being a problem with these fibers because first of all, it's short. So it's not going to rub on any clothing whatsoever. And second of all, you're, you probably won't wear it a whole lot, so it will last quite a while. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit off the beaten path, a little bit uh, more constructed and like you took some time with your hair, uh, this could be a really great wig for you. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the cap. So she has a lace front, like I said. She has a left side mono part. She is wefted throughout. She does have velvet ear taps and my least favorite adjusters, these. I don't like these type of adjusters because I don't think they stay. Uh, and so I am going to have a project for myself that I'll do maybe do a video on or find videos to link um, that where you sew, you get them adjusted where you want them and then you sew them and then you don't have that problem. The one thing I will say about Beltress caps, they're very roomy. They're very generous. I have a average circumference, but I have a very petite of over the top of my head measurement, very petite. And so I often find wigs too, too roomy for me, too big. I find that I have too much space in the cap a lot. And that can be a real challenge for me, uh, given that I do have an average circumference. But this doesn't bother me with this wig at all. It doesn't, um, it doesn't feel like it puckers or buckles, even though I have extra cap. It just sort of floats on my head, if that makes sense. It's so comfortable, so comfortable. Um, especially because I adhere it with its stays, I don't have to worry about it sliding around. And so I just, I can't think of anything other than the super dark knotting that I don't like about this wig, nothing. And quite frankly, the knotting doesn't matter because of how the bangs swoop. I, I don't have to wear them off my head and so you can't tell. So anyway, I can't think of anything else that I'd like to tell you about this wig. So the very last thing I'd like to tell you is how I got this wig. So Deb, Deborah Heim, owns the very best little hair house. It is a brick and mortar wig shop in Sharon, Pennsylvania, but she's also an active member of a number of Facebook groups. She has her own Facebook page, as well as an app that she just launched for her wig shop. She has been such a help to me as I've been looking for some different wigs. She's been able to help me. She helped me get this one. Um, she offers great specials all the time and so I've purchased, in addition to purchasing this one from her, I have purchased a few other wigs. I can't recommend her enough so I would like to just give you her details in the description box and ask that you check her out. She's a wig sister as well as a wig seller. She started off wearing wigs, found a gap in the market of people who weren't really able to help her um, in like the stores in her area so she opened a store and that is her main business but she does um, sell on Facebook a little bit and she'll post specials at least every week and lately it's been almost every day and so I just like to encourage you to check her out. She's another resource. There are a lot of great wig, um, online wig stores and um, so she, but she's a, a, she has a special place for me because of her um, her approach to wanting to do this for fellow wig sisters. So anyway, Deb was awesome and she's the one who led me to this wig. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, Bell Tress, Spanish Roast, Mocha with Cream, 100%. Love her. Love her. Recommend her. I'd say get a Lady Latte at the same time. Then you have a straight wig and a curly wig and nobody will be the wiser.
Have a good day.